And we want to go right out to our reporter, Sabrina Franza, who is down on the ground giving us a live look at what the action is so far. Sabrina, you look pretty happy out there. It looks right? like the energy's good. I think everyone's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, Asia, it feels cathartic to be standing out here right now. After months and months of being inside, cheering from our windows, we can now cheer our frontline workers in person. I want to show you exactly what it looks like at the front of the parade route. This car right here is where you can see Sandra Lindsay. She's the first person in the United States to receive the COVID-19 vaccine here in our city. She's a nurse from Queens, and she's going to be sitting in that car with who we presume Mayor Bill de Blasio at the front of this parade route and just behind her. We have 14 different floats, all representing different frontline workers, transit workers, hospital workers, delivery workers, educators. And we've been talking to people all morning who all feel the same way that this is just one of the most exciting things to see New York City coming back alive after months and months of being home, months and months of being apart. We can finally come together and celebrate the summer of New York City. Guys.